Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to Technoflux. If you're an Apple fan or the Apple TV fan, then you're going to love this news. Apple has officially announced its streaming service, Apple TV+. Plus. Uh, before we get going on this article or this news, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Tap on that bell so you can get notifications of our daily uploads keeping you up to date with the latest tech news tech reviews and how-to videos all right to get going about this Apple TV plus streaming service I'm excited I can hear it right through this video you're excited we're all excited CEO Tim Cook said this will be an ad free subscription with everything available for online and offline viewing in more than a hundred countries it's coming this fall but Apple hasn't shared any pricing info yet we feel we can contribute something important to our culture and society through great storytelling cook said the company already had a long list of titles in development they include amazing stories a reboot ex executive produced by Steven Spielberg and adaptation of foundations and the morning show a drama set in the morning TV industry starting Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon sounds like they're getting a lot of big big names into this TV plus streaming service details about the shows have been coming out for more than a year so the main question was how would consumers get access to all this content and how much would they have to pay for it if anything Reports last fall suggested that Apple might actually give these shows away for free to anyone with iOS or tvOS device so they so the original content would essentially function as an incentive to buy Apple hardware and as a funnel to other services. And indeed Apple announced that there is a new Apple TV app coming out in May, obviously as well as Apple TV channels which will allow you to subscribe to other streamers like HBO, Showtime, Stars, and CBS All Access. It turns out TV Plus will be a part of the TV app but you'll have to pay extra even if Apple isn't saying how much yet. I've heard $10 per streaming subscription so $10 for HBO, $10 for Showtime, $10 for Stars sounds like it's adding up right it's gonna be pretty pricey but that's what I've heard as of now they want to charge around ten dollars per package to highlight the caliber of filmmakers involved in this initiative Apple showed off a promotional video which you're watching right now featuring interviews with Steven Spielberg JJ Abrams I mean two great great people in the film industry Steven Spielberg and JJ Abrams you don't get bigger than that Octavia Spencer, Ron Howard, M. Night Shyamalan, Sophia Coppola, don't know how to say her name to be honest, Chazelle, Damien Chazelle, Jennifer Aniston, and Reese Witherspoon, who are of course all making shows for Apple TV+. Spielberg then took the stage to talk about his childhood love of the amazing stories magazine which he subsequently turned into an 80s TV series thanks to the visionary and inventive folks at Apple my team and I are going to be resurrecting this 93 year old brand and offering to multi-generational audience a whole new batch of amazing stories he said Spielberg was followed by a parade of celebrities touting their various shows Aniston Witherspoon and Steve Carell who are all starring in the morning show I love Steve Carell by the way but for the big finish Apple brought out Oprah Winfrey not a fan of hers I don't think Apple said last year that it had signed a unique multi-year content partnership with Winfrey the, that announcement however didn't include any details about the program she program she'd be making Winfrey described two documentaries today first there is toxic labor looking at the effects of sexual harassment in the workplace there's also an untitled multi-part documentary about mental health in addition Winfrey said she's working on a new version of her book club with Apple 
which she said will be the biggest, most vibrant, the most stimulating book club on the planet. Ooh. The idea is that her interview interviews with authors can be streamed to Apple stores and devices around the world. I want to literally convey a meeting of the minds connecting us through books, she said. More broadly, Winfrey said that with her Apple content, I want to reach that sweet spot where insight and perspective, truth and tolerance actually intersect. And she's excited to use their platform to get her message out to an enormous audience. They're, they're in a billion pocket, y'all. A billion pocket. And that's a Winfrey quote. A billion pockets, y'all. A billion pockets. So, tell me what you guys think of this. Apple streaming service I mean there's been rumors we knew it's come it was coming out we didn't know much details after this Apple announcements there still isn't really that much details just kind of gives you an idea of what kind of shows they're doing and what kind of people are involved but they haven't given us any pricing or it, it, it is coming out in fall but we don't have any exact dates so we'll see where it goes from there but uh, leave a comment at the bottom. Let me know what you think. Is this something you want to try or not? Uh, from what I hear, with $10 per package they got, it's kind of pricey in my opinion. But we'll see. We'll see when it comes out. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Leave a comment at the bottom. Thumbs up. Have yourself a happy Monday. I hate Mondays. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye.